loss of their beloved dog. He was attacked by another dog while out on a walk in their neighborhood in plain view. Plain view. And the family says the dog is not the only victim. Eyewitness News reporter Kristen Thorne with the exclusive report. This isn't the first time this has happened. The dog attacked another dog in this neighborhood just a few months ago. Attack another dog, it had an altercation with another dog, yes. Robert Greenberg says his dog, Princess, isn't dangerous. My dog is friendly. My dog kisses every person. My dog has never been a person. Unfortunately, those little dogs like to uh, intimidate big dogs, and my dog doesn't. Play. But that's not how some neighbors feel. Why is this dog still there? People in this neighborhood are really scared of okay, your dog. Okay. What do you want to say to them? What I want to say is my dog will never attack a human. And I want to say to them. How do you know that? Because it's never happened. My dog's six years old. Hudson, a Havanese, lit up the lives of the Nayer family of Plainview. It's so tragic that my little buddy got taken away like this. Last Thursday, Hudson was mauled to death by another dog. Elise Nair was walking Hudson on Randy Lane. She noticed the other dog sitting by a front door with a leash, but no one holding it. The next thing I see is there's a dog that's coming through bushes. Um, I went to step on his leash, um, but he was too strong. Nair tried to get the dog off of Hudson. These are the dog bites. Nair says neighbors heard her screaming and came out to help. One drove her and Hudson to the vet. He was still alive. Uh, we wrapped him in a blanket. He had bled into his lungs. The dog had ripped off his spine. We decided to then euthanize him. 